Today, I'm back with another week of school lunch inspiration. But as always, all of these lunches are fun and cute, but still easy to make. I would love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and click the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of our videos. Let's get on to the lunches. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Today, Lily's gonna help me make the lunch. And since a lot of you requested a vegan lunch, that's what we're gonna try to do today. Lily and I are starting out with a good old PB&J, but we're gonna be trying out a new type of bread for this lunch. This is the Ezekiel bread in the sesame flavor, and it is vegan. So it'll be really interesting to try something new. For our PB&Js, my kids really prefer extra crunchy peanut butter with strawberry jam. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a poll right here. Let me know how you like your PB&J. Do you like it with strawberry jam, grape jelly, or something else. So like I said, Lily is helping with today's lunch and I really think a PB&J is the perfect beginner sandwich to make. It's pretty easy and she did a great job. Now because we don't actually wanna lose the crust on this bread, we're gonna go ahead and just cut it into rectangle pieces and then we'll get them into the lunch box. To go along with that, we're also gonna throw in some cucumber and I'm gonna let Lily use my special crinkle cutter to do this. It's not very sharp, so it'll be perfect for her. For our fruit today, we're gonna throw in some watermelon cubes. And then just for fun, we're gonna stick in a really cute little mermaid pick. To go along with this lunch, we're also gonna add in some yogurt, but this is actually dairy-free coconut milk yogurt in the vanilla flavor. Now, I actually think this vegan yogurt tastes really good, but the texture is really different than traditional yogurt. Next, Lily's gonna help me add one of her favorite snacks, some pistachios. These are just lightly salted pistachios, and she's gonna throw in about a handful in each of these reusable zipper bags. And then of course, we're definitely gonna throw in a treat today. These are the vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookies from Trader Joe's. They are so good. There's actually coconut in there as well. Even if you're not vegan, you will still love these cookies. They are that good. And then last but not least, we're gonna throw in a juice pouch. This is in the mixed berry flavor. So I have one for each of the kids. We're gonna get all of our lids on and then head out the door. Lunch is over now, here's how we did. So right now I've got Mackenzie's lunch, I've got Jackson's lunch, and I've got Lily's lunch. I know I don't often show their lunch boxes, but they do actually have lunch boxes. So now we can take a closer look. Mackenzie, you ate your cookie and your pistachios, and it's time to check in here. Ooh, pretty good. What did you think of that special bread, you guys? Uh, it was kind of hard and it was filled with seeds. Yep, this is sesame bread, you didn't know that. But it is a little bit harder than regular bread, but I thought it tasted really good. So Kenzie, you did a good job. Now for Jackson's, your cookie's gone. Let's see in here. Oh, I see a lot of crusts left over, but not too bad. And you just have some pistachio shells. Do you like, uh, you like pistachios? That's hard for me to say. Yes, I do. Now on to Lily's. Your cookie is gone. And let's see. You have a few pistachios left in there. What do you think of your sandwich? Uh, Thumbs to the side. <laughs> Just so-so. What was your favorite part, guys? My favorite part was the pistachios. My favorite part was the sandwich. What about you, Jack? My favorite part was the watermelon. Watermelon. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Hey, guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Today, I have Mackenzie helping with the lunch. We're gonna start by making some bagel sandwiches. We're using this bagel thin bread. So this tastes just like a regular bagel, but it's just thinner. Perfect for making a sandwich. Next, we're adding some vegetable cream cheese. Now, I do have to say that this cream cheese was still really cold when we took it out of the fridge. It was pretty hard to spread evenly, but Kensley definitely made it work. 
Next, we're gonna roll up some turkey slices and add that to our sandwich, followed by some really thinly cut cucumbers. We have been loving cucumbers at our house, and we especially like to put them in sandwiches nowadays. Next, we're gonna top that with a slice of cheddar cheese, and then we can close up our sandwich. This is definitely a new sandwich combination the kids have never tried before, but all of the ingredients sound good, so I think they're gonna love it. And we're just gonna add these little picks in here just to keep our sandwich together inside the lunchbox. For our fruit today, we're gonna throw in some nice big strawberries, but we're gonna try a new method to remove the tops of the strawberries. We're gonna try using these straws. I saw this idea online, but I've never tried it before. You basically just stick the straw up through the strawberry and it's supposed to remove all of the green top. Now this did work pretty well, not 100% of the time, but it was a really great alternative to using knives. So it's a lot safer for kids. And now it's time to fill the lunchbox. We're gonna add our sandwich in there, then of course our strawberries. For our vegetable today, we're just gonna add a little bit of broccoli, not too much. And instead of putting our ranch in a separate container, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it directly into the same section where the broccoli is. Next, we're gonna add in some goldfish crackers. And then we're also gonna throw in some of these mandarin oranges. I just have a few left and I really wanna use them up before they go bad. And you guys know my favorite thing to do to oranges is to stick my googly eye picks right in there. It just makes them look like a cute little monster. And then last but not least, we have the treat of the day, which is actually gonna be chocolate milk. My kids love chocolate milk. It's definitely a once in a while treat. And they're definitely gonna take their water bottles as well, so they'll have both. Lunch is over now, here's what we eat. What'd you think, guys? I oh. loved my lunch. Yeah? See you, Jacksons. I see you still have your orange, that's okay. Okay, and Lily, what'd you think, Lily? Um, what's the side? Yeah, I have to say that there's quite a bit of sandwich left in everybody's lunch. And that's because I think the sandwich must have been really filling. Were you guys really full? Yeah. Yeah, I think next time I would give each of the bigger kids half of one, and Lily maybe even just a quarter, because there's quite a lot left but everything else is pretty good. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the sandwich. My favorite part was the broccoli. Yeah, you did a really good job on your broccoli. What about you, Jack? My favorite is the chocolate milk. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today I have Lily helping me once again. She's such a good helper. But we're actually gonna start by making some muffins. And I'm gonna let Lily decide, should we make pumpkin muffins or banana muffins? And she chose banana. For these muffins, we just need to add a few eggs. And since Lily is new to cracking eggs, I'm gonna let her try my egg cracking gadget. I found this on Amazon. I will link it down below if you're curious. But it makes it really easy for kids to crack eggs without getting the shell in there. Next, Lily's gonna add the dry ingredients followed by some coconut oil and some water. And that's pretty much it. We're just gonna mix this up and then very carefully add it to our silicone molds. To make it a little bit easier and not so messy, we added our batter to a Ziploc bag so we could just squeeze it into each little section. I think these are gonna be so cute and they're definitely gonna be delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and bake those in the oven and in the meantime, we're gonna get started on our wrap. For this, we're using some room temperature cream cheese mixed with a little bit of salsa and some taco seasoning. It's not too spicy, so it's perfect for the kids. Lily's gonna go ahead and mix this together. She did a good job. Next, we're gonna take some of these multi-grain flatbreads. These are perfect for making wraps. Then we're gonna spread that cream cheese mixture that we just made all over the flatbread. Next, we're gonna add some shredded chicken. This is just leftover rotisserie chicken meat from dinner last night. I love throwing leftovers into lunches. Next, we're gonna sprinkle on some taco cheese some lettuce, and just a few tomatoes, not too many. Then all we have to do is roll this up as tightly as we can and slice it up. My kids are big fans of wraps like this and you really could customize these however you want. For our fruit today, Lily's gonna throw in some honeydew melon. And just for fun, we're gonna add in these cute little picks we got at Hobby Lobby. They look like little feathers. 
so cute. For our vegetables, we're going with some baby carrots with a ranch to dip in. Can't forget the ranch. For an added snack today, we're gonna throw in some of this applesauce. We're also throwing in a mini pack of pretzels. And last but not least, a juice pouch. This is the 100% juice Capri Sun in the fruit punch flavor. Oh yes, I almost forgot our bunny banana muffins. But you guys, they totally did not come out very well. So they're not as cute as I thought they'd be, but they're still gonna taste really good. Okay, lunchtime is over. I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily here with me. Say hi. Hi. What did you think of today's lunch? I really liked it. What about you, Kenzie? I really liked it also. Oh. What was your favorite? My favorite was the bread. The banana bread? Yeah, those did not come out of the pan. Even though it was a silicone pan and I sprayed it, but you know what, they still tasted good. Jackson, what was your favorite? I like the rolls. The chicken taco rolls? Uh huh. What about you, Lily? Juice. The applesauce? Mm hmm That mango applesauce is delicious. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey friends, and happy Thursday. Today I've got Jackson here helping me. Today's lunch is going to be a hot one, and we're gonna start by making some egg bites in the Instant Pot. So Jackson's gonna go ahead and crack all of our eggs, and he's gonna use the Easy Egg Cracker too. That way we won't get any shells in our food. Next, Jackson's gonna add a splash of milk and some salt and pepper. Now to make these egg bites super light and fluffy, just like the Starbucks ones, I'm gonna add all of this to my blender and blend it up really well and nice and frothy. Now traditionally in these egg bites you would add bacon and Swiss cheese, but today we're gonna go ahead and use Canadian bacon. So Jackson's gonna go ahead and cut those into smaller pieces for us. And he's also gonna cut up some green onion. Now that we have all of our ingredients prepped, we can get the mixture into the mold. This is a silicone mold, I found this on Amazon, and it's meant to go inside the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna pour the egg mixture in there, then Jackson's gonna add the Canadian bacon, the green onions, and the cheese. Now for this next part, I'm actually gonna take over. I'm just adding it to my Instant Pot with a cup of water. I'm gonna place my lid on gently, it's not fully closed. Once I've got my lid on and my valve on sealing, I can go ahead and cook this on manual for only eight minutes. And then eight minutes later, we're left with our egg bites. These were super quick and easy. We're gonna go ahead and add them right to our thermoses so they can stay nice and hot for lunchtime. And now it's time to fill the lunch boxes. First, Jackson's adding some yogurt. This is the Chobani drinkable yogurt in the strawberry banana flavor. For the fruit today, we're throwing in some cantaloupe with a really fun star pick. Fruit is always more fun when it's on a stick. For our vegetable today, Jackson picked out sugar snap peas. Of course, we have our egg bites right in the thermos. And to go along with the egg bites, I found this really interesting slime ketchup at Walmart. This is supposed to taste exactly like regular ketchup. It's just green, so it looks like slime. Next up, we're gonna add some of these veggie straws. My kids love veggie straws. They're such a yummy snack. These are made of potato and carrots and spinach. Jackson's gonna go ahead and put just a handful or two in our reusable zipper bags. These are a great alternative to regular Ziploc bags because you can wash them out and use them again and again. And then last but not least, of course we have a special treat today. These are the Pokemon fruit snacks. These are so cute, my kids love fruit snacks. There's lots of different characters in there. And to go along with the Pokemon theme, I'm gonna go ahead and put the snacks inside this little snack ball. These little plastic reusable balls are meant for food. You can put any snack you want in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick the fruit snacks right in there and then throw it in a lunchbox. I think this is a really fun, cute alternative to just a regular container. And for today, the kids are just gonna take their water. Okay guys, Jackson did such a good job helping with this lunch. Why don't you tell me what your favorite part was? My favorite part was like the eggs. Yeah, those came out really good. What and are they called? Oh, I just call them egg bites. I mean, you can put different things in them too. Next time I might put cheddar or sausage. What was your favorite, Kenzie? I really like the eggs too. Mm -hmm. What about you, Lily? My favorite was the yogurt. The yogurt. What did you guys think of the green ketchup? Was it weird? Yeah, yeah. it didn't really taste 
taste like regular ketchup. Like, I'm pretty sure they added some vegetables or something. So it looks like you guys ate pretty much everything except for the sugar snap peas and a little bit of the cantaloupe. So not too bad today, guys. We'll see you to my wow. Hey guys, and welcome to Friday's lunch. Today's lunch is going to be a hot lunch, and it's going to include something the kids have never tried before. So to make this jambalaya, I'm gonna start by slicing up some andouille sausage. This is a chicken variety. I'm hoping it's not too spicy for the kids. We've never tried it before, so we'll have to see. Next, all I have to do is add all of the rice and the seasonings to some water. I'm gonna add the sausage in there, and then this is gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes to cook. And there you have it. This smells so good right now. Now in the morning when I'm ready to pack the lunches, all I have to do is reheat this so it's nice and hot and get it into the thermoses. Next, to go along with that, I also wanna throw in some carrots. Sometimes I buy pre-cut carrots and other times like today, I like to make crinkle carrots. Then for the fruit today, I'm gonna throw in some apple slices. I'm gonna use my mandolin slicer to get these nice and thin. And now we can throw everything into the lunchbox. We have our jambalaya, it's already ready to go. Next, I'm gonna throw in some popcorn. The kids love popcorn in their lunch. It's such a fun Friday treat. To go along with that, I'm also gonna throw in a granola bar. But this is actually one we've never tried before. I found this at Walmart. This is perfect for today's lunch because it's nut-free and it's gluten-free and this one is in the chewy white chocolate flavor. So that sounds really good. So now all I have to do is get my carrots in there and my apple slices. And then of course I have a treat today. I'm gonna add just a couple of these soft baked snickerdoodles. I get these at Trader Joe's and they are so good, but they're really perfect for today's lunch. They're free of the major allergens, but most importantly, they still taste good. And then for the drink today, I'm gonna give the kids the option of bringing water or they could also bring a juice pouch. It's up to them. Okay guys, what do you think of today's lunch? It was very spicy. Mm-hmm, I can definitely tell they weren't huge fans of the rice. There's quite a bit left. It really was spicy, huh? Well, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the popcorn. I really liked the vanilla boy. What was your favorite, Jack? I really like the apples. Apples, yeah. Now, was it the sausage that was spicy or was it actually the rice? I'm not sure. Well, at least you tried something new. See you next week. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for the special mystery subscriber lunch video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.